Gluten intolerance, actually one in 133 people is gluten intolerant and the diagnosis for that, now that we understand a little bit more about celiac brew, we're finding more people being diagnosed that maybe had it before but just weren't getting to the doctor and the doctor was missing it for some reason because their symptoms might you know, be just a GI upset or we might see a spike in blood sugar or cholesterol and not think to check for the gluten intolerance. Um, but that is something where we're seeing more and more food allergies in that direction. And it's a, it's a difficult food allergy to work with because many of the grains that a person would typically get in their diet have the gluten protein or the wheat protein. And so what we end up doing is finding quinoa pasta as a substitute or using quinoa the grain. Uh, and lots of companies are now coming out with gluten-free products, gluten-free baking mixes, gluten-free pancake mix, gluten-free flour so you can do baking. Uh, so there's a lot more variety when it comes to the gluten-free foods now, but I don't think it's such a problem for people to be able to, to find a, a diet that's going to work best for them and to even partake in eating out um, in social, social situations where they couldn't have maybe done that before. A lot of restaurants are now posting gluten-free options for people um, because it is becoming such a common food allergy.